ended up going to like Hurricane Katrina relief and like meeting people from all across the like U.S. that were like helping and coming together and they were all a bunch of like college students and other people that were trying to like better themselves and I was like you know what that's like I want to better myself and like little did I know like doing all the stuff I was doing I really was like bettering myself. What's the most fun you've had in college? Like was it really spring break and did you really go for work and learn? I thought it was for... For the spring break trip? Yeah, I, I really went for work and learn, so I convinced a bunch of people to go with me. And we all ended up getting trashed, and I ended up sleeping with one of the AmeriCorps girls. <laughs> <laughs> like, going as doing, like, the one where everyone always has the dream spring break of going to Florida, which was, like, the coolest thing ever. I mean, I slept in a room with three girls. It was like, oh, okay, sign me up. I'm going. Let's go do this. So we get wasted every day. I'm okay with it. So it's, like, me and, like, Four random guys with like two guys from Lindenwood. We're like hiding down there. And then we're like, I'm like, man, what am I? Wait a second, I'm sitting on these kegs. And I'm like sitting down there with like four kegs, just like, dude, if the cops come down here, we're gonna be fucked. That was college. Kind of like everyone's got that dream of college and going to a party. Like, granted, it was a horrible headache. And there was a lot of drinking and I lost a lot of money. But it was like the best time of my life. So I think. <laughs> I don't remember. I was told. I had a fun time. <laughs> oh man. I mean, I celebrate. I think I had six 21st birthdays. Like, <laughs> that's a college thing to do though. You know, it's like I, I had a fake ID coming into college. And do you want me to talk about my whole like accident or whatnot? Or? If, you want, if you want to. I mean, you don't have to if you don't want to. I kind of realized I had a drinking problem. And it wasn't that like I got drunk every day or I was like an alcoholic that people say, like, oh, I'm wasted all the time. It was when I drank, I kind of would lose control. And I didn't, wasn't able to be like okay with myself. I was intoxicated. And that day I fell asleep behind the wheel driving home and wrecked my truck. And it was kind of like, I mean, I, I hit another car. I could have killed people. I could have killed myself. It was kind of like a huge rude awakening for me. Pretty much from that day forward, I deemed myself a new person. Like not, not from that day because I was still wasted. I mean, I got fucked up, went to the hospital. After I got out of the hospital, like I came home and like really the thing I wanted to do was have another beer. So I did. And it was kind of like as I drank that last beer, it was like, maybe this is what, my, I remember just holding the can and saying like, maybe this is what my problem is. Maybe this is what I need to stop doing. So from that point forward, I actually ended up going into inpatient treatment, spent 21 days in there and, you know, became a little, like, a lot more spiritual in the way just of, Believing that there is a deeper meaning to everything in life. Just as of two days ago, I'm 11 months sober. That's awesome. And I couldn't be happier with myself. School is not just about education. It's about really like learning who you are as a person. It's not about how many papers you can do, how many tests you take, how many things. You, it's about learning how to be a good person. 